you you. I can see you very well. No, I still can't. There is a green bar below the your screen when you speak. If it's moved because your mind is working very well. And when I'm talking, I cannot see you. Green bar moving that your mic. Hi folks. <laughs> I can see that <laughs> and he is projecting. Just to link on um, um, my presentation on the Hangout, right? Yes, yeah, it's way better now. And please do you can see my One second, and we pray. Is possible. Yeah. If it's not possible, that's fine. Uh, you can do it right now. No problem. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah. You people, I believe that. <laughs> so, we need to hang out on there. Okay. So, I will try to. Uh, the live stream right now. And second, so if you want, you can get this video after the presentation. 
Okay, we are live. And thank you to join this hangout. Uh, my name is Rodrigo. I am the outreach manager for America Latina uh, and work for Google for seven years. Uh, at this moment, my current objective in America Latina is to create the internet system. The idea is to bring more people online, to bring more content online, and to make those people to work better using the internet. Uh, so I was talking to a kid in the video presentation to talk about foundation and food. I'm not an engineer, I was an engineer. I'm not anymore. I was six engineer for five years at school. Uh, so I think that this public map will be inter it will be good to you because it will explain to you how Google keep knowledge. Uh I made this so far. Okay. And so let's start. If you have any questions, just ask to any issue, send me a chat. I have at this moment three emails in front of my face. I think that I will pay attention to the window that there is the chat. I hope so. So let's move forward. Uh, when we talk about Google, uh, everybody puts Google, everybody puts search in Google. So you should need to do something very simple. But to make Google simple, it's something that is really hard. Okay, so to let the fields and names of web page can provide those web pages uniquely and with a uh, uh, very good uh, answer, it's really hard. Uh, however, if we in general we think about Google, we think that Google is using search engine, specifically in America Latina. Uh, very few people, uh, when you talk about the kind of people in Latin America, very few people uh, know that Google is not just a search engine. At, at this moment, we work, as you guys may know, we work with Bright, we have Maps, we have search plans. We have Browns, we have the Google Plus, we have Gmail, and we, we have an entire system that shows a lot of problems. So the big question is, even with so many problems, different problems and so on, how can Google keep the course? Yeah, how can we keep the focus and how we can move forward dealing with so many different problems? One of the possible answers is we try to keep innovating. So we are in the program we try to keep innovation at Google. And when we think about innovation, and when you go to Google and search for what is innovation, you will see that you may get one and this is Google vision about innovation. Uh, how we can move forward with innovation. One of the things that we know about innovation is that we need, I mean, this is something that we must do all the time. We call it search infrastructure and applications. When you just look for search, you will get fields of search queries per day. Okay? And you will realize that most of those queries are not in the US. Uh, we have access to answer those, those queries. And the most important thing is that every single day, 20% of the pipes will be more specific when they search, they find to search for new content and so on. So we need to understand this. We need to understand this uh, approach from it. And we need to treat it very well. Very good, in a very good way. We need to, to, to learn to be able to answer to those new requests every day. When we go to the infrastructure, the same thing. We have a uh, important government. Uh, we had one in three million of computers, uh, and the most important thing is every time that we crawl to 10 to 20 percent of the old content. It means that, what does it mean? It means that people are doing research every time, every single day, and they are searching, and new contents are being created every time. So we need, again, we need to understand the search of the and we need to understand the new content available in the And it's not easy. And when we move to applications, 
uh, you see that the user is pushing us hard. For example, when we go to YouTube, you realize that every minute, 48 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube. We're not just talking about videos, okay? We also have the Kazan with 4,800 photos. We have as well as followers and many others. Uh, application. So this push us innovation. So we cannot stay stop in our exposure because we believe that at this moment we have the best workers. As you can see uh, on here, we need to keep updating our own services to attend the new needs from the user. So what I'm gonna talk to you now is about the nine principles of innovation for you. So the first thing that we need to talk is about the idea. Okay, when we talk about the idea, uh, we need to understand that the ideas do come from everywhere. Okay, and I'm not sure about how many points we have. I think that we have almost 13,000 of points, something like that. I'm not sure. But the point is that each point, we do have it, and we foment, we foster them to share this idea with the managers with the product managers. And one of the ways that we do this, we have an ICAO system called Google Ideas that any Googler can just go there, post an idea, okay, explain, and share with the other Googlers. And the other Googlers can just go there and vote for the best idea. And what we do is the best idea, the ones that move to our products, we also provide a price for them. So we really try to be open, we really try to pay attention to all the ideas, and we all know how the viewers to vote on the best ideas. Also, we believe that we also need to, to fail and learn. Okay. And one of the things that we do is each product that you launch, we, we share across the Google. So all the groups they have a chance to to use the product that you will launch before before it is launched. Just to give to the engineer team a feedback from a user for about the product. Okay, so this is what we call dog food at the moment. Uh, and we fail a lot. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys remember this web page, but this was one of the pages that we created for Google many months ago. Okay, and of course it just disappeared because it was a terrible experience for me. We just make it alive and a few days after we just dropped it because it was a terrible experience for me. For me. Uh, Another thing that we do, we also don't drop anything, so I should back. Okay? Even when it fails, when it fails, we learn, with, like I said, we learn from its fail and we try to adapt. I think that the best example that we have is this. So we start with Google Wave, we move to Google Bus, and now we have Google Plus. And Google Plus is a huge success. We can see from the data that we have that, and all the data that we public post, I think that the last public data that we post was 119 videos of the users who were using Google Plus. It's a lot. And it's still growing very fast. The engagement from the users are still growing very fast. And I'm very proud of the research to compare all the uh, social uh, uh, websites that we have. Google Plus was, was, was the first one in terms of uh, usability for the user. So, like I said, we fail, we adapt, and we move forward. Another example, I think that everybody knows Google uh, Street View, Google Maps Street View. So, what we did, we did adapt this technology and we launched our project. And March project was exactly the same framework, the same system called Google Street View. But instead of the user 
seen the street, you will be able uh, to browse and see the features, parts, and so forth. Uh, another principle that we have is to share everything. Okay. And by sharing everything, I mean everything. <laughs> so we have a demo page where, where everybody has access to the resume of Google. So we can, I can access the resume of anyone here at the company. I can understand exactly what this person is specialized on, what kind of project they are working, what is the objective, objective of this project, and so forth. Okay, so it's, it's a huge data to understand uh, the Googlers inside the company. Another thing that's at least for me until today, something that I, I, I still very impressed with this. Uh, we do share all the code, all the engineers, they have access to the source codes of any kind of problem that they have. So any engineer can just go there, take a look at the codes. Sometimes they can even suggest uh, uh, in on the performance, we can just fix some words or we can just uh, suggest changes to the code. Of course, that this will, this will not go in alive without a central uh, process. But the key point is that everybody has access to this. Okay. Each engineer should provide snippets about what they did on this week, okay, about the coding and so forth. Everybody is okay, supposed to do this at the call. So we have an entire system and process to share all the information that we have. Uh, the, the principle number five is that I manages all the decisions. Okay. So basically, and I will give you an example uh, of a success case. Uh, so basically we have the Picasa website and we try to understand which what are the best version of the Picasa web page for the user. So this was the original, this was uh, as far as I know, this was the first version of the Picasa. And then we did a lot of tests with different versions of the web page. And we just realized that uh, the uh, a picture is not worth 1,000 of work. Based in the case of Picasa, the best one page for Picasa with the best results for us was this one without a picture. So it, 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 I just forgot to translate this, but it's important. But basically, this version of this one page uh, generates 30% more downloads than the one with the picture. We tried more than 200 versions of the web page, of web page to be able to find a one with a great results. Okay. And we also use a product called Website Optimizer that right now is going to Google Analytics to help us to do this. So this project, this product on Website Optimizer, it's free and it's available to anyone. So anyone can just go there, download, start the load, can the lines on the cloud in uses and you can increase the conversion rates of your web page in a bunch of places. Uh, we also believe that the creativity goes when you restrict or you limit the resource. Okay? All the teams that we have are small teams with a very good uh, resource. And we believe that these uh, cause people to try to innovate. Uh, following, we have also what we call 20% projects. Every, everyone here who are able to dedicate 20% of this time to a project that truly makes sense for the group, but doesn't need to be related to the core role of this Google. So if I have some passion about features, for example, I can never have some project, use some percent of my, my time to work on this project, but then related to features. The only point is that this project should be related somehow to any objective of Google. 
uh, we have some examples of problems that you raise because of the 20% rule. So we have Google News, okay, that Google News was a 20% project. We have Google Sujet, we have the uh, Google Translate, and many others. That they appear not because someone was an objective of the company just to use that direction. It's just because some Google decided to dedicate 20% of the time on this project, and after the project is ready, made success, and went live. We also want to report and empower the small teams to achieve ratings. Like I said before, most of the teams are Google yeah, really small. Okay. Um, we also have the survey resource allocation group. That means that 70% of Google resources should go to the core activities of the company. 20% of the our of the resource from Google should go to projects with a strong potential of success. And 10% of Google resource should go to something that is wide and crazy. And by wide and crazy means that we have the Google Lens as an example. We have the, the, the car that drives uh, without need of driver. We have Google Maps, we have Lunar, and we have many, many other projects, okay, and that were created to these uh, uh, rules. So just moving forward, another thing that we believe to have success and to keep innovation is that we need to hire the best people. Okay. And by hiring the best people, one of the results that we have is that we hire the most of our engineers, the IT engineers. And we are not hiring a person just because they are, they, this person has a PhD. The point is that a PhD, if someone has a PhD, it's a strong skill that they have the, 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 the use approach, they have an approach that's matched with Google approach. Okay. Because anyone, but anyone, if it's a PhD guy or if it's a guy that just finalized the universe, everyone fails through the same process when they get hired as well. So it's, it's global, okay? It doesn't matter if it's in Brazil, if it's in Mexico, if it's in the US. So if someone needs to be hired, this person needs to follow a standard process. You will you be, you be abused by a, a group of people. Not just by the manager, but a group, a group of people to try to understand if this person has the Google profile. And if this group of people believe that this guy has the profile, we hire them. So the manager of this person during the process has a very few influence on the final decision. What matter is the opinion of this group of people, not just from the manager. And to finalize, we believe that we should focus on the user and the laws we follow. I think that this is the most well known rule from Google. Okay, focus on the user. This is the most important, important thing for us. And to finalize, make everything fun. As you know very well, I mean, we, we, with all the offices that we have, we are very fun. People have fun working, and it is important. So this is the presentation that I have. Uh, I'm open to answer questions. So feel free to ask questions to Enrique, and I will try to answer by looking to the chat. Any questions so far? If you people, I mean, I'm now talking to people that are watching this video, okay, not the pens. Uh, we have a technical problem. Enrique, the other guy from Edge the Hangout, you cannot talk to me, so I'm just I'm looking to the shafts right now. That's why I'm asking him to go to the shafts and do the questions for the shafts.
Uh, I'm not sure if, okay, the question is, do you use Google Apps in Google I'm not sure if I cannot answer for all of our products. I don't know all of our products, but I'm sure that we use for the majority of the products that we have. And it's exactly the same version that you had active. Everything is exactly the same. Okay, the question is what is the future of Chrome OS? Is it moving forward? Yes, Chrome OS is moving forward. I, 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 I cannot talk about uh, future launches and new features that will be launched. I'm not allowed to talk about this, but I can I view that Chrome OS is moving forward. <laughs> So the question is, is Android and Chrome OS in version? I don't know. And if, even if I knew that, I would be able to answer. I don't know, and I cannot answer as well. <laughs> Okay, the next question is, is true that food is free in Google? Yes, it's true. There is a big problem and risk for me. Okay. I, I think that in train that's skilled, I'm not sure. But since I started at Google, I, my, my, my weight just increased uh, 10 kilos. <laughs> just because the question, I think that the, the right question is not if it's free. It could be free, it could be terrible. But the problem is that it's free and it's a name good. <laughs> so that's the big problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the questions from the chat is what is another product that we could expect from Google in the near future? Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I cannot comment about future launch. I love my job and I want to keep it. Okay, so this is something that you get updates from Google I.O. and so forth. So I cannot tell you, unfortunately. Uh, Oh, 
know. That's a very good question. What good products do you like that is not that popular? That is one product that I just love. And just show you a lot of power. And it's a great, I, I love it because of the technology behind it. It's the API prediction. Now, very few people know this product, but this product allows you to do data mining, not just data mining, but allows you to predict a lot of things on your data. So, for example, let's imagine that you rent movies online and you want to understand what is the new movie that the shoes get for your customer when it runs. So, you can use this API to analyze how the customers that you have. And this API will understand the pattern of the customers. And based on this, we will understand what are the movies that people with a similar approach of you have. And you will find you can be able to identify that there is one of the problems that people with the same profile of you watch it and you didn't watch. And they can suggest you. So this is one of the simple examples about the API prediction. Uh, there is many others. If you go to betteroffers.google.com and search for API prediction, you will be able to, to get more information about this. But this is a product that I really bring about. I think that the technology behind of this product, it's amazing. Specifically, when you compare with many other technologies that you have available to you, that it's paid, you will see the API prediction is out of page not free, and then you can clear the API predictions are way better in the others. So this is a product that I really like. I do know that you use it a lot internally. I like it, but like I said, the, the most important one is for me to be kind of Okay, next question from the show. What can you tell us about Google Glass? The first thing is, it's real. <laughs> I can guarantee you. A lot of people, keep a lot of people that I do know that don't, doesn't work for Google, they don't believe that Google Glass. Okay. So it's real. Uh, I didn't have access to it yet. I'm so sad for this. I think that we are working hard. I think that if you saw Google I.O. and you saw the presentation of Google I.O., the presentation was amazing. And very few people didn't get that we, we connect the Google Glass to a Hangout. Uh, so the, the, all the, the, the software inside of the Google Glass was connected to a Google Hangout. And because of that, we were, we were able to show live at the Google I.O. Many people didn't pay attention because it was so crazy see those people jumping from the airplane, that many people didn't realize that everything that was transmitted was transmitted to a hangout. Okay, so that's a very good feature and great feature about Google Glass. You can use it and you can connect to a hangout. This is, I, I just love it. So let's have one more question. Okay, and they need to go. So the question is, what is the best selling app in Google Marketplace? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I have no idea. What's that? <laughs> so thank you. Thank you.
you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the tips. Uh, it was a uh, hangout on there, so people will be able to watch this presentation on my profile. Uh, and I will send you the link, so you will be able to share it with others. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I know that you will be in the time. I'm sorry for the technical issue for being Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, Fine work. But look at a lot of the a lot of the design systems for innovation that I think is so for hearing one of the for for marketing of the time. What about the
Thank you. 